I'd like to talk about my baptism now. <laughs> That's my favorite line in my act, just so you know. <laughs> because of how uncomfortable it makes everybody. <laughs> it's the one thing that unites all of us, because if you believe in God, you're like, oh no, what's he gonna say? <laughs> And if you don't believe in God, you're like, oh no, what's he gonna say? <laughs> Let me make it clear right now, just so we're all on the same page, I am pro-baptism, uh, but I'm not gonna make it weird, but I will take an offering after the bit, just so you know. <laughs> Lock the doors, play a slow song, and pass the plate. <laughs> I was baptized in a Mennonite church. I was sprinkled. I was sprinkled, and uh, before you can get baptized, you need to give a testimony. Unless it's like an accidental baptism. If you're walking by a lake, and there's a pastor there, and he trips you, pff, then you know, no speech required. But typically, <laughs> you gotta give the testimony. Now, I wrote mine out, and my pastors read it beforehand, and they gave me some notes, because I had a line in my testimony that said, I love the Lord, I just needed a kick in the butt. And my pastor said, love your testimony, Matt. Really top-notch stuff, but take out the butt. And then he clarified, he goes, the double T butt. Because he knows with me, he has to be specific. Because if he didn't clarify, I would just be up there on Sunday morning. I did not want to go to camp. I did. <laughs> You gotta get my testimony right, because I was the first one up. I was the first one out of the gate, you know? Because I had the boring testimony. I was like 13 at the time, so my testimony was kind of lame. It was like, I started going to church when I was five years old, and the hardest time in my life was when I really wanted to play soccer, but nobody picked me for soccer, and God said he loved me even if I didn't play soccer. You're like, all right, that's adorable, move it along. Right? <laughs> Then there's the guy who's like, I've been doing drugs for 40 years. You're like, yeah. <laughs> you put that guy at the end, he's your closer. <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> so before you get back, you baptize, you have to walk down the aisle and they always play music and it was a big year for Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? So I walked down the aisle to, as I went down to the river to pray, <laughs> studying about that good way. Who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me... The I'm speeding it up for the sake of the joke, but... <laughs> like, I swear, I'm pretty sure my pastor slowed down the beats per minute. Heaven forbid there's a rhythm. They'd be like, as I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way. <laughs> if you, you don't want that. If you dance down the aisle at a Mennonite baptism, they don't let you get baptized. That's how that works. There's a dude in the pew with a hook. He's like, you're not ready. And he pulls you in. And you can research that. That's true. But now I go to a very charismatic church and all my friends are getting dunked. Listen, I don't care what you believe. You got to admit this. Dunking is cooler than sprinkling. Yeah. Never got an applause break on that before. <laughs> so now, I'm watching all these baptism happen and I'm, I'm getting something I didn't even know was a thing. I'm getting baptism envy because it's so cool. <laughs> Like, I'm like, it's so cool. They're playing videos of it next week, and the videos are always in slow motion, right? They're like, let's see what happened last week when Keenan got baptized. They're playing some cool music out of Redding, California. I'm no longer a slave to fear. <laughs> his hair flies back. They see Gia Dove landing on his shoulder. But it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. No one wants to watch a slow mo sprinkling. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
hard to keep your eyes open. Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my whole special.